Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 19 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Oh, this is a turkey. Oh, is that like a... Oh, okay, well... Uh... 159, wasn't it used to be cheaper? Huh. I don't remember anymore. But, uh... Alright, anyway. Let's take a look at today's one. Uh, yeah, I've been... But before that, I suppose, um, I started doing squat again. Uh, I think I mentioned my groin still hurts, so I've been kind of slowly progressing it up. Uh, we'll see how that goes, and just, you know, but I am really tired. I, I feel like I need to sleep more, uh, and maybe sleep in a better, uh, way, but, you know, uh, yeah. yeah, I only got six hours yesterday, which is not great. Uh, just being dumb, I think. Uh, but anyway, so it is what it is. So let's get a look at today's uh, problem. We have 2461. Maximum sum of distinct subarrays with length k. You're given an integer array nums and an integer k. Find the maximum subarray sum of all subarrays of nums that meets the following conditions. The length of the subarray is k. Okay. Mm, you know, all the limits of the subarray are distinct. We turn the maximum subarray sum of the subarrays that. Um, Meets the conditions. If no subarray, uh, if no subarray meets the condition, we turn zero. Uh, okay. So here again, we have sliding window, right? Uh, I mean, some of that is, of course, as we were talking about um, uh, the last couple of days, which is that we've just been getting sliding windows. And I think for this one, right, like when you have a fixed length um, of k, I think that's al almost always a tell, right? Because in this case, it's not. It's it even. I mean. Yeah, because the window, you always move left and right at the same time, and it's just keeping track of stuff, right? Um, so there's, um, you, the invariant is just much easier to kind of come up with, right? Because the invariant is just keep the window size K, and then keep track of what happens in between. So, okay, so let's go, um, yeah, so we have F is going to collections that counter. Uh, and that is just my frequency table, right? It's just a regular uh, uh, key to int uh, lookup, right? And then we have for i in range of n, um, f of num sub i increment by 1, right? And then now, uh, if it has k elements, then we have to know, we have to figure out if, um, yeah, so, okay. So, if, <clears throat> if we need to remove, if we have more than k elements, then we do something like this, right? Uh, oops, I did it wrong minus k, right? And the idea here is that uh, if this is zero, we can delete it. And the idea here is just keeping, uh, maintaining the the keys of the frequency table, because basically the, the thing is that um, it doesn't happen for you, but if you, if you do something like f of x is equal to zero, th this would still give you a key value of x with the value being zero, right? Um, so if we delete it, then now the, the key is no longer on the table. But as a result, you can actually also use it for, um, yeah, you can use it for for counting the number of distinct elements, which is kind of what we're abusing here. And yeah, and there's actually te technically, I think this is technically enough because the window is only si length k and has to be distinct, right? I mean, you can definitely add a condition if you and you probably should just in general, uh, which is that if um, if uh, yeah, if this is true and this, because th if i is k minus one, then that means that it goes from zero to k minus one inclusive, which means that's k elements, um, and as and as and then you, this is the condition that they ch you should check because for the problem you have to check that every element is distinct, right? And then, so this is now a good subarray, and then now we have to find out the maximum sum, which we didn't keep track of, because I, I forgot, I don't know, but that's fine, right? So we have uh, best is equal to zero, and then total is also equal to zero, total being being the, um, the sum inside the window, right? So then now when you add, you just do, 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 and then here, well, regardless, you uh you subtract it out so then that maintains the invariant right and then now here we can just say okay well and that's pretty much it hopefully uh yeah okay yeah i was gonna say, ask like what happened when there's no subarray but apparently zero is good enough 
So we are good enough in theory. We've been making a lot of silly mistakes lately, so let's see. Okay, pretty good. Okay. Huh, I guess I was a little bit slower for some reason. Hmm, wonder what I could have done to be a little bit faster. But apparently two years to the day almost. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is going to be linear time, linear space, so you can't really do much better than that. Maybe you could be a little bit cleaner, but I don't know. I think this is good enough for me. What is the sliding window? Is there... No, there's... I mean, this is... Uh, I mean, this is using while loops instead of for loops. I don't... Oh, I guess you can slide... Yeah, okay. I mean... I don't know. For, for fixed cave things, I like to kind of... Uh, doing it this way, the way that, you know... Um, because it's just easier to kind of deal with off by ones and, and the invariants. I guess the way that they do it is that they just kind of, uh, uh, if, um, yeah, they just kind of adjust the windows the entire time, which in theory leads to better space, I guess, maybe, but I don't know. Anyway, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Keep it easy. Keep it simple. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.